Today, I'm gonna to be doing a review on the City Crossfire 3 SRS Sole Replacement System boots. This boot I've had for just over a year now, and this boot for seven or eight months. And uh, you can probably tell right off the bat that if I have two pair of them, I like them quite a bit. Um, I think they're a really good looking boot, a uh, really stout boot, very protective boot, lots of replacement parts on this boot. Uh, a lot of people know the replacement sole on the SRS uh, 2. Uh, sole replacement Crossfire City 2s. They had, a, I believe, an 8 or a 12 bolt system. This is a 4 bolt system. This is the original sole on this boot and it's held up pretty dang well. Um, love all the replacement parts. It's got the hyper extension block here so that you can't hyper extend your foot or you're not supposed to be able to hyper extend your ankle. Uh, a bunch of different replacement parts. This uh, opens up for larger uh, calf muscles or knee braces if people need a little bit more room in the boot um, Really tough durable boot. I'd have a hard time uh, Believing you could stick a, a stick or smash a toe on a rock with that. It's just uh, like a steel toe almost That's a strong strong boot um, great quality craftsmanship um, Probably the best looking boot in my opinion on the market um, but we buy boots for protection and uh, If they look good, that's a bonus as well, but Lots of uh, vents for breathability. Um, this is actually an 11.5. I usually wear a 11 start size start size street shoe, and uh, I feel like these run a little bit small. So I bought the uh, 11.5 or 46. Um, just a really great boot in a lot of ways. Really tough and durable boot. I believe I've done about. Uh, seven or eight races in this boot here and I've probably done three or four races maybe two three races in this boot and uh, man they've they've held up really really well I've been really impressed with these boots um, the letters come off the bottom um, but that's not a big deal the sole is held up pretty dang well I don't run super sharp foot pegs so I don't dig into my boots like some people do but uh, you can tell this one's starting to wear pretty good but it's been a great boot um, it's a solid sole boot, so it's not going to have a lot of flex. It's not the most comfortable boot for walking around in, but uh, it gives you a ton of support from um, really smacking your foot or uh, having issues. Um, I actually did sprain my ankle in this boot um, in a race. I went to put my foot down, uh, hit a rock there, hyperextended my foot, and it really hurt my ankle pretty good. Um, but could have been worse, could have been any boot that could have happened. Your boots can't protect you from everything, and maybe this helped me from uh, really breaking my ankle pretty badly. So pretty dang tough boot, durable boot, really good looking boot, and I'm gonna be uh, doing a review of all the different boots that I've been riding, and uh, really like this boot. Hope that helps. I know people spend a lot of money on boots. These are $600 boots, probably one of the more expensive boots on the market. And when you do uh, go to spend money on boots, it's nice to do reviews. And that's what I'm trying to do is be able to help anybody out who might be looking for uh, some options or advice on comfort, on different things. And so I'm going to be doing a, a boot review on a bunch of different boots and kind of pitting them against each other. Uh, one thing about this boot is, like I said, it's not the best walking around in boot. This boot, you can feel the brake and the shifter better than any other boot that I've worn. Um, but that comes at a cost. It's a rigid boot. It's a small toe boot, so it's not going to fit everybody's foot size. A lot of guys have tried them on, and they end up being too small for them. They have to take them out and try something different. And that might be where the City Crossfire TA comes in. Like I said, just a really, really great option. Um, one thing I don't like about the boot is I don't like the, the buckles. I don't think the buckles are the most seamless or easy to use, but I haven't had any issues with any of them breaking, but they are a little bit of a bugger to open up and close. Um, but once they're there, they're uh, solid. I've never had them pop open or anything like that. And uh, overall, I've just been really, really happy with these boots. And you can say uh, if I bought, you can see if I bought two pairs of them, I'm probably pretty dang happy with them. But I uh, hope that helps somebody who's looking to do, uh, looking into the City Crossfire threes. I think they're great boots. Um, are they perfect? No, I don't think they're perfect, but they are a great boot. Uh, I hope that helps. I'm gonna be doing a review on the uh, City Crossfire TAs as well, uh, the brother or sister boot to this boot. Um, and so, yeah. Anyhow, hope that helps. And uh, anyhow, hope you have a great day. I just wanted to mention one last thing. When I first did buy these boots, I did have some pressure points. 
um, in the ankle to where uh, it was a little bit uncomfortable at first, but one or two rides, the boots broke in nicely and those pressure points did go away on both boots. Every once in a while, from time to time, I do get a little bit of a sore toe on either side, just their narrow boot. And so uh, from time to time, my toe will get slightly sore on a long day of riding, but it's pretty minimal and uh, it's worth it, in my opinion, for the feel of the boot. I'm also gonna be doing a review on the Garnier or Garn SG12, however you pronounce that. And I will be doing a review on the Alpine Star Tech 7s as well. And also a review on the Fox Instinct boots. And the City Crossfire TA boots.